Hi guys, Labour have taken a Ming Vaz approach to the next general election. And while issues like Brexit or immigration allow them to avoid confronting reality, what happened in Israel last week mean they can't tap dance around that issue. It isn't clear how much the British public care about what's happening in the Middle East at the moment, and if it will affect how they vote. But while we don't expect the current form of the Labour Party to be radical, they want to be as bland as possible, the Labour leader has sort of painted his party into a corner, and them trying to paint themselves out is pretty embarrassing. Here David Lammy, who wants to be Foreign Secretary one day, was left with egg on his face when he was confronted by Victoria Derbyshire. Have a listen. So, why so, so civilian look, casualties must be minimised in any war context. Do you support the and order to move people from north to south? To food, to medicine, and to utility and safe passage so they can move across the country. Okay. Do you support the order to move them or not? The order to move them? Well, yes. clearly. Just yes it, or no? It's not a yes or no, Victoria. I'm, I'm hoping one day to be Foreign Secretary and, and achieve diplomats. So it's not a yes or no. Why let not? Me, why let not? Me, can I answer the question? Please. Very simply. This is a war situation. War is ugly. Yes. Very, very sadly, people die. We have rules, and those rules mean that you must minimise death. Now, you know, and I know, because Netanyahu has said that there will be an invasion shortly. Against that backdrop, of course it's right that civilians must not be in harm's way, and an order has been issued. Okay. I'm glad that that order has been extended. Of course I am. But, this, but what I, the point I want to get across is that it's hugely important that we minimise the loss of human life. Right. And anyone well, let, let, seeing those scenes from Gaza, it's horrendous law. for those people that are facing that at this point in time. The UN Human Rights Commissioner says the imposition of sieges that endanger the lives of civilians is prohibited under international humanitarian law. Keir Starmer, your leader, a human rights lawyer, says Israel does have the right to impose a siege. Who is right? In situations of war, where there are allegations of war crimes, that must ultimately be a matter for the UN and its agencies no. and for the ICC. No. I'm sorry, Victoria, that is the case. This is not a moment no, for suggest... me to pass judgment we're about not, when we're I'm not, not here suggesting as a lawyer. The war crimes. I'm nor, here as was the UN Secretary. Human Rights Commissioner. He was saying it's breaking international law and to he's impose entitled a siege. To his view. It's not a, it's he's not a view. To his view. It's not just plucked an opinion out of the air. He's looking at the framework, the Geneva Conventions. He says the imposition of sieges, which endangers the lives of civilians, is prohibited under international humanitarian law. Keir Starmer says Israel has a right to impose a siege. I don't. Who is right? Keir Starmer has said right from the beginning. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Instead of actually just relying on the United Nations, which the Labour Party should have done at the beginning, they've been, they've been thinking about this from a general election point of view. This, this, maybe I'm wrong, but this is the impression I'm getting. Whatever the Tories are doing, whatever the public feel, we're not going to upset the apple cart. So the public seemed to be behind, uh, behind Israel at the moment. That was when the attack took place, of course. The Conservative government is behind them, so we're not going to do anything radical, we're going to fall in line and do the same. Now, I don't think it's a political decision that they were, that they were making in, in regards to Israel. It was a domestic political decision. Do nothing radical, don't upset the apple cart, and just, you know, cruise along towards the general election. Now, of course, that put Keir Starmer in a difficult spot, because when he said that he supported Israel, well, as was pointed out here, he supported also a siege, but a siege is in breach of the of international law. Now, David Lamid started talking about war crimes, but that's not the same thing. David Lamid should know that. If he doesn't, then that's a bit, a bit of a problem for a future foreign secretary. But of course, the Tories have bet, has set the bar really low at the moment. But this once look, this is so frustrating because it's there's a very easy way out of all of this. Rely on the United Nations, the UN Human Rights Commissioner, they have made a statement, then you should emulate that statement. You should say, you know, Israel is going through a very difficult situation. We will provide whatever support we can. Uh, the Palestinians are, are suffering at the moment because of uh, what's happened. We will support, we will provide them what, with support, whatever support we can. You keep it very vague, but you always rely on the United Nations. You say, well, the United Nations Human Rights Commissioner has said X, 
we, we, we will emulate that. But instead, what he's doing is he's trying to play to the crowd at the moment. And this, while it will work for Brexit and it might work for immigration or some other issues, it doesn't work when it comes to the Middle East, because the Middle East is extremely volatile. Once again, rely. This is advice I'm giving to the Labour Party when it comes to international issues. Rely on what the United Nations are saying. The United Nations is far from perfect, but it lets you get out of a difficult situation because you're saying, this is what the United Nations say. We are a member of the United Nations. Britain is a member of the United Nations. Um, many countries around the world are members of the United Nations. The United Nations says X, well, we, we support that and we think that's the way to go. But David Lamy isn't doing that because Keir Starmer isn't doing that. Keir Starmer has really messed up here. But as I said at the beginning, I don't know if this is going to have an impact on him politically in the UK. I don't know how much people actually care about this or how much they will care about it come the next uh, general election. But it certainly has turned a lot of people off. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.